Okay, so uh, hey y'all, welcome back to the channel, Instagram, me, Random Kim. So this was a question that I got asked a lot because um, people know I did. Uh, those of you who know, I did a breast lift and a arm lift. You can see the scar and the arm lift. It's bad. So I tell, I've been asked. What happened? You never updated us since we saw the video of, yeah, I did it. Um, so what happened, you know, y'all, I listen all day, every day. I, I, maintenance is key. So, um, what happened? Okay. A lot. So I'm going to try to make this video as short as I can and add everything in it. So here we go. What happened? So what happened was... I had the surgery. I had it last year in June. Last year. No, March. Last year in March, I had the surgery. I had a breast. I went in for a breast lift and an arm an arm lift, which is, I'm going to do lipo. This is like, see, I'm, I'm, I'm getting definitions because I've been working out. Y'all working out, y'all. I'm getting definitions in my arm from working out. But I'm, they were, they were, I had, I had wings. They were down here. Okay, lose skin from like from losing weight and not weighing compression when losing weight. Anyways, I'm gonna get lipo on my arms because I I feel like I feel like I want them just a little bit more smaller than they are. They're not as small as I want them to be. It's personal thing. It's, it's, it's me. It's just it's me because everybody else is like, girl, she ruined your arms. It's me. Anyways, <laughs> okay. So what happened? So much happened. I'm trying to sum it up as fast as I can because so much happened. Um. Okay, so my arm lift went horrible. It's like this whole side of my body just went horrible. So I'll say um, almost a week post-op, I noticed that I started getting, like I started seeing a hole develop in my, in my armpit area here. And I, I reached out to the surgeon. And I said, um, yeah, there's like a hole developing under my armpit here. Like, is that normal? So he told me to buy this powdered shit that they have over there. It's like a powder. If I find it, I'll insert it into the video um, at the end. i insert a picture if I can find it. I think I have some left. But it's a powder they give you. Um, and he said to change it daily and put a powder. So I hired a nurse to, you know, keep... I watch for my arm. So as she was doing that, I kept everything dry and I kept everything covered. Then I noticed two weeks post op that my um right boob started doing the same thing. So both opened up. My arm opened up. I mean you can see that uh, my arm opened up. It took two months to heal. My right breast also opened up my whole entire areola. Well, not the whole thing. It's the bottom of my areola, like right here. Opened up. Uh, it didn't open up like... Well... I can't insert pictures because this is pretty fucking graphic. Um, it's, it's like it... Um, like it started spitting stitches, basically. And once it started spitting stitches, it kind of like... It opened up. And then when it started to close back, it's like it started to spread. It's almost like I had necrosis, either necrosis or it just, it's, but it was spitting stitches. So, um, I didn't get, in my opinion, a breast lift. I feel like I got like a, a breast reduction because I still, I still have, my boobs are still doing this. My nails are always broken. Y'all know I always have, I chase my daughter. She's two. She's a lot. So I'm always, Yeah. But, um, it's like, I, I'm still, you see them inside profile. You see, they're not, this is inside of a, a sports bra. And they're still not, you see, you see, I'm set up perfectly set up. See how, you see how my side profile is like this. Okay, so when this is not on, it's still below where I want, what we could, what you could consider a breast lift. So, um, it was a traumatic experience. It really was. And 
I feel like the surgeon should have, he realized, I think he realized he botched my breast because he kept saying this shit about, oh, you have to wait for them to do this and do this. I was like, what is this and this? And then he was saying shit like, um, sometimes, you know, you look at your work and you realize it's not the best work. He knowed, knew, looking at my breast that, yeah, I fucked up. You understand? So, when I went home, you know, I, I sent pictures of what was going on and shit like this. He was like, first, it was, and I, I can insert those text messages. I gotta find those screenshots. But I should have screenshots where he was, where his, the coordinator was telling me that, don't worry about it. He's going to fix his mistakes for free and so on and so forth. So, when it came time for me to get the, the reconstruction, because at this point, I need breast reconstruction. So, by this time, um, I, I, I had got my ticket and did all that stuff. And I was about to head to do it. And then I was told, he's not going to fix it for free. They were going to give me a discounted price. What? Like, okay, um, what? And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and say fuck it. I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, let people who keep asking me who was the surgeon and what happened. How was my, you know, how everything went on. And I'm just going to go ahead and tell them who he was and share pictures and, and let them know everything about it. And let him know I'm botched and charged me. Blah, blah, blah. She was like, oh, please don't do that. Blase, squase, blase. And then I went, she was like, just go and meet him and talk to him and then see what he says that he can do for you, so on and so forth. So I got on a plane. I did that. When I got there, he was like showing me pictures of, of he, video of my surgery actually being done. And then um, he's like, oh, he can fix it. He can repair it. Give him a chance to do this and that and another. And then he gave me a lower price than a discounted price that he originally told her that he was going to charge me. However, I still feel like, bitch, I shouldn't be charged anything because I didn't botch myself. So why am I being charged anything? Out of all of my rounds, I always had amazing results. So I didn't think of the what ifs if it didn't go the way it's supposed to what if it fucks up or or my worst fear for my breast actually happened that was my biggest fear that my areola would open up that was my biggest fucking fear and it came to reality so it's like i was devastated to say the least because baby listen why am i having to pay for this if i didn't did i botch myself i didn't all of my other rounds went smooth Okay, and I got amazing results. I didn't have to redo shit. Everything was amazing times 10. You understand? I mean, it just required maintenance. Okay, because plastic surgery is not a permanent fix. If you just think you're going to get out of the table and you're going to go back to your same old lifestyle, you're going to eat what you want to eat, girl. You're going to eat pies, cookies, chips, cakes, and multiple of those things per day. You're allowed to have certain things everything is fine in moderation so you're allowed to have those things but girl you can't have stuff every day girl you can have it you can have it but every day is no go and then i just learned that working out is going to be a part of maintaining it because now i really need to work on my arms i'm building muscle with my arms y'all y'all seen it y'all see the definition but i'm still gonna get life on my arms i'm gonna but i'm gonna get life on my arms and I'm still going to keep working on working them out t until, you know, I do have lipo on my arms. But I'm going to have lipo on my arms and I'm going to do, I'm going to do the breast reconstruction because they're not what I want them to be. They're smaller than what they were, which allows me to wear crop tops and tube tops and backless dresses and scrapless dresses. And you feel me? I can wear things that I've, I didn't, I hadn't been able to wear before because my breasts were big bitch and they would sag down here a hole. They was big. Now they're not so they're medium and they just only probably, well, probably sag about right here. Like 
a little bit lower than what it's in right now in this bra. So probably about right here without the bra. Yeah. So I'm able to wear things without a bra. Most things I wear, I wear without a bra. And I don't have to wear a bra. And, it's, and they have a plumpness to them. And they have, you know. So I know that the reconstruction shouldn't, should be successful. Because I don't have that much skin to remove. And um, I feel like it would be a lot better. I don't want an implant. Had I gotten an implant, probably would have not had to do it over again. Because it, was a, it would have the high profile implant. But I feel like I don't want to put an implant. You know, some people... They want to implant some people just want to just want lift of their natural boobs, the natural tissue and stuff like this. But so he was explaining to me how he's going to do the lift this time around. He was like, he's going to put a pocket and make it seem as if, if a pocket, like it's an implant to stuff my tissue into to give it this type of a feel. I mean, look, so how I feel about it, um, am I going to do it? It's been a year since I did this breast lift, breast reduction, um, in my opinion, it's a breast reduction. But um, am I gonna do it? Probably yes, and I might do it next year. I was gonna do it this year, but I want to give my body full heal. I mean, a full heal, cause inside of my the outside of your breast are and the outside of of, of your your surgery is always healed. You know. What the eye can see is healed. But inside of your body, that shit is not healed. Like, give your body time to really, really heal. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to wait, like, a year, year and a half to do it. Um, That's my story. That's what happened. It was horrible. The breast is the worst recovery I've ever dealt with. The pain is excruciating. It's... it's, it's no other surgery has ever trumped the recovery from breast lifts slash breast reduction. That shit was painful. Anyways, my arms had no pain. I ain't getting not one inch of pain in my arms. Not one. I'm not one ounce. Okay. So um, yeah, I just want to share that because I was asked a lot what happened, or, you know, and that's what happened, y'all. So, ladies, recovery. I always take an extra couple hundred dollars for recovery. And remember that a recovery process is can be easy. It can be hard. It depends on the surgeon and it depends on your body. Um, shit can happen. Shit goes wrong all the time. I was I'm in a lot of surgery groups on Facebook and wound groups. I see some horrible things happening. So, just, um, if you're thinking about plastic surgery of any kind, just mentally prepare yourself for that shit because it's, it could go real, real bad. So, yeah, um, that's going to be the end of this video, child. If y'all need any other things y'all want me to talk about, that answer, be asking me some more questions and stuff like that, girl, let me know. The next video, um, I have scheduled to do is I get asked a lot from people, when I'm out and I go out about my um, foundation routine and um, I might shoot one tonight because I am going out tonight. So I might shoot a foundation routine tonight because I'm going to go ahead and get it over with. Okay. Because my foundation routine is simple, but it's effective because you want your foundation to look like skin. Some of y'all be caking that shit on and... And make y'all skin look fucked up and look like I mean, like look like I be having like uh, fine lines and a lot be going on, sis. So yeah, I hope my foundation routine helps you out, love. All right, so until then, y'all, two fingers.